Hey guys, welcome back to Berenice's Math Club. Today we'll be learning how to convert percents to decimals. So let's review what a percent and a decimal is. So percent, an example of a percent could be 15%. 15% is telling us that we have 15 parts out of a total of 100 parts. Remember that percent is always out of 100. So we can write 15% as 15 out of 100. So we know that 100 is our total and 15 is the parts out of the total which is 100. So this is a percent. Now a decimal, let's say, let's give an example of a decimal. Let's say we have 4.96. This is a decimal because we see that we have a decimal point, obviously. And also, decimals actually um, show what the place value of the number is. So like 4 is in the 1's place, 9 here is after the decimal point, this is in the 10th's place, and 6 will be in the 100th's place, right? Now, a whole number can also be written as a decimal. So let's say that you have the whole number, maybe um, 46, right? 46 can also be written as the decimal because if it's a whole number, the decimal point is always going to be at the end of the number, so it will become 46.0. So this is a decimal. Now that we know what a percent and decimal is, let's go ahead and convert a percent to a decimal. Let's say that we have the percent 33%. There's two ways that we can convert a percent to a decimal. Let's go ahead and do the first way, which is by dividing. So if we have 33%, we know we can write this as a fraction, so that will be 33 out of 100. Next, we'll divide 33 by 100 to get our decimal point, our decimal number, okay? Now, how do I know that when I divide 33 by 100 that I'll get a decimal? Well, because whenever your numerator, which is your top number, so this is your numerator, and this will be your denominator. So if your numerator is less than your denominator and you're dividing them, you will always get a decimal number. That's how it is in math. So if you divide 33 by 100, so let's go ahead and do the division over here. We know that 33 is smaller than 100, so we're going to have to add a decimal point and add a zero. We know that 100 goes into 333 times. We get 300, subtract, we get 30. We need to add another zero. Now we have 100 times three again, gives us 300. We're left with zero as a remainder. And the decimal number we get is 0.33. That means 33% is equal to 0.33, or we can also write this as 0.33. So we have our percent and we just converted it into a decimal number. So this was method one of converting a percent to a decimal. Now the second method is, uh, most of us find this a lot easier. So let's choose a different percentage and then let's apply that method. So let's say we have 26%. The next method that we can do is we're still gonna write this as a fraction first. So if we write this down as 26 out of 100. But this time, we're still dividing the numerator by the denominator, but we're using more of a quicker method. So if you still write this out, we know, as we said earlier, that a whole number can also be written as a decimal with a point zero at the end. So 26.0 is the decimal number for 26. In order to change this into the percent, we still because we're not really done. We can't just say 26% is equal to 26.0 because we still have to divide by that 100. So we know that 100 has two zeros. Whenever you're dividing, you're going to move from right to left. So since 100 has two zeros, you're going to move the decimal point two places from right to left. So one, two. And you land at point 260 or point 26. That means 26% is equal to 0 0.26. Now, there, as I said, most of us find this method easier because we really don't have to go ahead and do the entire long division. We can just simply move the decimal point. So this is how you can convert a percent into a decimal the quicker way. So now let's go ahead and apply both of these methods on another example. So this time, let's say that we have a bigger um, percentage. Let's say we have 
144%. So the first method was to divide using long division. So we'll write this first as a um, fraction. We have 144 out of 100. Now before we go ahead and do the long division, a quick trick that will help us do the um, division quicker actually is if we reduce the fraction. So 144 divided by 100. So what is one number that we can divide both of these that we can get a reduced fraction? Well, we know that we can divide both of these by the number 4. So let's divide these by 4. So 144 divided by 4 is going to give us 36 over 100 divided by 4 is going to give us 25. So now we have smaller numbers, so it's going to be easier for us to divide these. So let's go ahead and do the division. 36 divided by 25. We know 25 goes into 36 once. Subtract, and we get 11. Now 11 is smaller than 25, so we're going to have to add a decimal point and add a 0. Now 25 times, we know that 4 gives us 100. And we're left with 10. If we add another 0, we know 25 times 4 once again gives us 100. And we're left with 0 as a remainder. That means 144 is equal to 1.44. So this was the method using long division. Now if we just simply look at this using the, I guess, quicker method, if we take the number 144, we know that the decimal point is at the end. So if we move the decimal point twice, because 100 has two zeros, we move it twice from right to left, we will get our decimal number. So if we move it, so 1, 2, and we get 1.44. And of course they are the same, 1.44 and 1.44. But this was a whole lot easier than having to do that entire reducing the fraction and then doing the entire long division. That's why most of us prefer just moving the decimal point twice. So this is how you convert a percent to a decimal number. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!